Hi, hello, welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, welcome back to more churning, ladies and gentlemen. This evening, I'm churning yet another video. Hello, everyone. Okay, oh, no, I've ruined the camera there. Welcome back, anyway. This evening, we are churning with the Audi RS5, and uh, JE has uh, brought it around once again to my uh, East London uh, abode. There he is, as if on cue. Yep. Hello, mate. Go easy, Are you going to explain where this one's come from, or are we not going to, we're not uh, going to explain that just yet? I know where it's come from, lad. Mmm, very well then. Another one, lad. Mm -hmm. You don't see many of these, do you? I've not seen another one, no. No, no. Yeah, too, you no. <laughs> mm. There are many around. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the 2018 RS5, the facelift, the latest iteration of. Uh, one of my favourite RS models actually in the Audi range, but uh, bar the RS6. Um, this one is actually very, very heavily revised for the new generation. And the old car, let's have a little look in here, hello. Uh, the old car was actually criticised for being far too heavy and not very engaging and not particularly fast either and slightly underpowered compared to its rivals. This car, however, has received a lot of uh, positive reviews, people saying, you know, that Audi have pulled out all the stops and it is actually on par with its rivals and in a lot of ways better. So, w w w what should we start with here? Should we just have a little walk around? So this car's got no carbon on it, but I don't really think you need carbon on these. Do you need carbon on this? Not exterior, no. 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 Backpack, that's the way forward. Black pack, yeah. So it's got the black pack, it's got the blacked out grill, yada yada, very nice. It's what got the 19 inch wheels. 90 grand. 90 grand. 90 grand. 90 grand. 90 grand. So, what do you reckon this was spec new then? 90k? No, 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 I don't reckon it was up at that. So it's got the it's got the nice wheels anyway, most importantly. Yeah. And coming in here we've got bucket seats with this uh, rather nice uh, quilting and we've got carbon everywhere inside as well. Really Flat really bottom carbon. steering wheel uh, and just a very, very Audi interior, which is a good thing. Door inserts, Bang & Olsen. Oh, we've got, ah, that's quite cool. We've got illuminated sills and then Audi Sport on the floor, which is all very important. We've got Bang & Olsen Hi-Fi, hi hi which you can see in there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Coming around the back here then, we've got this little uh, carbon, is this carbon? What is this? Is this carbon? Oh, just a black pack, just a little black spoiler. And we've got exhaust. performance exhaust, all important. We will hear that shortly uh, with the black tips, which are key, key goods. Go well now, son, go well. Okay, so what Audi have done then, they have replaced the V8 unit, the naturally aspirated V8 unit that uh, revved to sort of 8,500 odd revs with this 2.9 litre twin turbo unit that's been co-developed with Porsche. This now pushes out, what is it, 450 brake? Yeah, 450 brake, yeah. 450 brake and 600 newton metres of torque. Is that correct? That is, lad, yes. Uh, and if you compare that with a Mercedes C63S, which many of you will already be doing and fighting about in the comments, that produces 700 newton metres of torque. However though, that is no bad thing. This produces also 50 brake horsepower less than the C63S, but it's about on par with the standard C63. 0 to 60 time in the Audi RS5 though is a quoted 3.9 seconds, exactly the same as the C63S from Mercedes. Um, so it is no slow car. It is no slow car whatsoever. And I think they've changed the gearbox as well. They've changed it to an eight speed torque converter, apparently. Um, and that is actually a very similar gearbox that is found in the Porsche Panamera 4S, I believe. Um, Porsche have got a lot of input into this car, or Audi have got a lot of input into Porsche's cars. Either way, Porsche don't mess stuff up, so you've got a lot of Porsche bits in here, although Audi probably won't admit to it. There is, which is a very, very good thing. What do you think of it, please, mate? I like it. You like it, do you? I think it's good. Red. I had a... What did I put the windows on? An, a, an A5 back in the day. You had an A5? I, I knew, yeah, I like the shape. I think they're fantastic cars. They are actually good. <laughs> they are good! Yeah, would you get an RS5? Uh, you know what, no. Why not? Um, because I would rather an RS6 or an RS3 Sportback. They're both my Audi. Really? Yeah. Okay. Audi 3 Sport, RS3 Sportback is an absolute fantastic car. Okay, I'm going to ask Jay now. I had a salute. I had no, a, I don't, I'm, no, I'm bored. No, 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 sorry, I'm bored. Let me finish. No, well, what was he going to say? Finish or I won't this better in, be good. I won't appear in another video if you don't even finish. Okay. I used to have an Audi RS3 saloon as a loan car, okay? That's it. That's what you're going to say. But they all know that. Dead chat. All right, mate. Dead <laughs> teeth. <laughs> What's that hanging out your hood, lad? Tinted. Okay, lads. please. That's can we have your opinion? Uh, do you What's know what? That? I think in red it looks really, really good. And with all the black and stuff, I think it looks pretty... What does it drive like? Because you've been driving it, lad. That's Quattro what is amazing, so I know it's down Quattro. on to the seat. Quattro. Either way, mate, I'm not really... Pronunciation or pronunciation? Quote. Shut up. And um, 
I think the C63, although it's the same power, that probably gets it down better because it's quite funny. Whatever you're saying, mate. Quite true. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, because people will just go in good. on you. You don't want people to go in on you. No, they're going on you. They're going on, on that lad. What about that lad? Mate, they get, they like that. They enjoy that. No, nope. argue with me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think it's a different idea. C63s C are really common. Like RS5 is quite discreet. It's yeah, you don't see many of these it about, looks, do you? It's good. It doesn't, it doesn't like it gets down. Ninety it's good. grand, like pretty much. Spec well, some well these start at sixty-two thousand pounds. To solve a mystery, is uh, a little bit of fresh stock for old Dean Medline, and you yes. may recognise another plate that belong to uh, Jamie RS on Instagram before. Yes. So this car then is not JE's. This is a bit of fresh stock for Dean Redline. His little will be on the screen. You'll all recognise Dean from pretty much every single time we buy a car. Um, this is fresh stock. Anyway, this car was originally owned by the, the Instagram sensation that is Miss Jamie RS or Jamie RS, I believe is her name on Instagram now. Yeah, I, so I, I, I don't, yeah. I can't keep up these days. I really can't keep up with anything. Um, um, make sure you go give her a follow. Spider. Had some very good cars and got some cool cars on the way. But like she's got some go. fast Fords as well. So the previous owner of this car, Jamie, she's got some cool cars. She's got some uh, fast Fords. Um, cool stuff that us plebs don't really actually know about. We do know about. We went to... Shut Le up. We went to Le Mans in the folk But story. this is about... I think folk, No, but like vintage stuff, not, not the modern stuff which you know about. Cosworths, etc. This yeah. is for sale yeah, yeah, for... Yeah, cool stuff. I think it's for sale for 54,905, so 55k. So it's a hell of a lot of car for the money. Wow, that's actually a hell of a lot of car. So this will be on, on the Redline website, or you just drop Dean a uh, DM on Instagram if you are keen on it. Um, 54K, yeah, it is spec to the eyeballs. Jamie went mental specking this, so do get in the pot, and that is a bargain. That is actually a bargain. They're, they're super comfy in there as well. Yeah, that is I very tell you, nice. It's effortlessly quick though. You don't see 63, you put your foot down and it's It's life and death. Yeah, they are a bit twitchy. It just goes. Yes. As a winter car to get from A to B that you know is not gonna break and it's gonna be super quick. And you're not going to go love past the 50. Carbon as well. It is good. But even here, all, all the door cards, like, it is cool. I don't know we're picking up that detail anyway. And, and you have yeah, all the are. luminous lighting. I, I got used What's to this. What's the 2017 18 uh, dials on the CC3 like? Because it's all the, the new virtual cockpit. Yeah, CC3 on the up? latest, latest one, I believe that is all digital right. now. Um, and this is obviously updated on the 2018 RS5. The previous generation looks a lot different to this inside. The noise is no. different. Should we, should we try something like that? Not that. Well, on the new, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that input. This is a 67 plate, so 67 plate C63 yeah. may well not have a virtual cockpit, which for me, let's get my face in given more. how cars are going now, I do, I would like a virtual cockpit, lad. Virtual cockpit? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I I this, like is, this is when I had the R, <laughs> when I had the RS4 <laughs> and the RS3, you get very used to that cockpit. Yeah, yeah, it's cockpit, nice. And, it's and then really when you nice. see a needle on the screen, a real one, like a Old analog Everything's just great, isn't it? Yeah, it's sick. All the, have you used uh, the, the, uh, the the maps and stuff. What, dynamic mode? Maps. Those are very oh, nice tracks the bottoms, actually. They're very nice tracks the bottoms. Can I just say that now? Is that oh, okay? Go easy, lad. He's in his comfort guard. Go well. Go, go well. That, what about that, the noise, that, lad? That, um, the noise. Get it turned on. We've, we've made too much noise. Can you tell tell everyone, let everyone know that I'm a shareholder in the business? Is that a good you time shall not lie on camera. No, we're not, we're not going to lie. <laughs> Turn it on, lad. Turn it on. Very well! <laughs> Turn it on lad, give us a little lad. Get it on now, give move. Give us a little lad, you don't even make sense now. It doesn't need to make sense anymore, it's YouTube. This is when you find it reversed. <laughs> don't reverse it into a wall, although I get more views. It's a dynamic lad, and then pop. It doesn't make any noise. Well, you covered me. In, you covered me in dust and petrol. Yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be louder than that under load driving about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you it get is. more pops and it bangs, is. and you probably oh, you probably on the on the overrun. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does sound good. It's totally different to CC3, obviously not the V8, but it does sound good. Mm. And those pop and pop at the end is a bit like an R6 on the exhaust. Uh, all in all, then, it's a good car. I think that's it, really. I can't be bothered to do anything more. I'm really, really hungry. It's a, good, yeah, it's, a, it's a good car and a good video. It was a good video, wasn't it? It also has a very, very big sunroof as well, lad. Oh yeah, has it got the pan roof as well? Wow, that's good. Oh, oh, let, let's go to your usual, your usual blurb. Who would choose a 63? Who would choose an RS5? That I was, was just saying, I nearly fell asleep standing up, didn't I? Yeah, yeah it's called chronic. I nearly went. Stand up. Chronic fatigue is chaos. Um, yeah. So what's the verdict, lads? I don't know. 
What's the value? C63 or RS5, what would you buy? Somehow that's become the decision here. Well, I don't know. I just, what else would you compare it to, lad? I don't know. What, M4? SVR? M okay, no. BMW M4, what do we think of it? Just no, had one, sold it, gone, cancelled. M4. No. <laughs> BMW M4. The interior versus I, I sold one. No, no, no. I can't. Yas Marina Blue had it converted. The whole car, not just the interior. BMW M4, yes or no? Uh, not for me, thank you. Okay, and that was a. Well, I own the M2, and I I really didn't like it. But people just I know I know I know it's very they're mega value for money. They're though. mega value for money. They're oh, absolutely yeah. fantastic cars. But I'm not saying that. I'm just... I was talking about the M4. Okay, your opinion on the M4. No. I tell you oh, what, I, just, I would just never, ever, ever forward, get. Uh, forward, well, I had an M4 actually. What am I on about? For a car the very best one they make, and I still didn't like it. But having a car that's four wheel drive <laughs> is chaos. It's good. I like it. Uh, M4's not four wheel drive. No, this is what I mean. This is why this. Oh, okay, I, I found the M4 very twitchy and just a bit. Drive. I had one really uh, uh, really Noise wise, then, be sensible. Yeah. Noise wise, M4 as well versus this, which sounds better. This. Uh, this has got more of a, that, that turbocharged noise. It's good. Uh, uh, M4 is very much like a tinny noise. Yeah, it feels very artificial, that M4 noise. Yeah, I, did, yeah, I didn't like the noise of the M4 either. Uh, C63 obviously sounds the best. I mean, the AMGs have always... Like M4. No, I'm not slating it. It's an amazing car. It is an amazing car. I just don't like it. Don't you don't like it. You don't like it. But it doesn't mean the M4 isn't a good car. I'm not backtracking, lad. You are. You get out of the car, lad, and backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the M4 bashing aside, when we all acknowledge it, it is a very good car. I would probably have, oops, sorry, M4 lad. I would probably have one of these over an M4, but I would potentially have a C63S over one of these. Probably one of these over the standard C63 though. Definitely. 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 So we go C63S, then an RS5, then the standard C63, then M4. I think this is better. One thing I would say, if you compare the 67 C63S versus this, which this is, and for the money this is. I think this is probably better value for money. Oh yeah, I go. Bearing in mind the spec and everything, you've got a person with. So and for these, the winter winter climate, yeah. I think this is probably a better. And also, just not having something that everyone else has. To me, that's got. A okay, I'm bored of this video. I'm going to end it now. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, um, and I'll see you again really soon. Okay. See you. Bye bye.